dear students welcome to the online nptel certification course on sustainable power generation systems i am a faculty of school of energy science and engineering at indian institute of technology guwahati this course is intended to deliver significant information on the theory design and analysis of various sustainable power generation systems this will be completed in 30 hours lecture spread over 12 weeks the course will introduce a very fundamental knowledge of power generation systems and demonstrate the need for such kinds of knowledge to address the targets of the united nations sustainable development goals in short uns sdgs basically this course covers the theory design and analysis of power generation technologies based on solar wind hydro geothermal otic and wave energy furthermore hydrogen generation technologies stories and applications will also be addressed along with the energy economics of the system a sufficient number of numerical problems will be solved to strengthen the understanding of the design methodology of various sustainable power generation systems this course will be very much useful for undergraduate and postgraduate students of different disciplines namely energy chemical engineering mechanical engineering electronics and electrical engineering and working professionals from industry and academia if you ask me how this course will be beneficial to you i would like to give an example example goes something like this if you would like to know how much area is required to install a 50 kilowatt solar power plant so i am moving in this way to produce 50 kilowatt solar photovoltaic power plant under standard test condition we need approximately 200 numbers of multi crystalline silicon pv modules of 250 watt peak capacity also to produce 1 kilowatt of solar pv power we need an approximately 12 square meter of area hence for 50 kilowatt solar pv unit we need approximately 600 square meter of area this way we can size the plant and also other components required for the plant we can also give one more example suppose there is a need of say 50 kilowatt power for operating a rice mill in a remote place we may use any of the sustainable power generation systems based on the available resources we must evaluate what technology will be appropriate for this purpose if solar radiation is sufficient and reliable energy storage system is available we can opt for solar technologies else we can go for other technologies like biomass wind or any other sustainable power generation systems or sometimes we can think of hybridization of the technologies in the case of biomass gasification technology we need a gasifier and an engine and then generator by considering the standard efficiency of these components the quantity of feedstock required will be approximately 40 kg per hour furthermore this analysis will be helpful in sizing the plant and hence design of the system many such interesting problems will be addressed throughout this course hope you will enjoy this course and you will be able to implement the knowledge gained from this course in the practical field thank you for choosing this course all the best mm -hmm.